Sasa iko namna hii. Maneno iko namna hii. Tumeona kotini imesema namna hii. Kwamba wale walikuwa nataka kubadilisha katiba kama mimi atakufuata sheria. Na tumekubaliana na kotini kwamba atakufuata ile njia nzuri, sawa? Hiyo tumekubaliana. Na tutapinga lakini kama kuna wengine watapinga hiyo ni haki yao. Lakini nimeona maajabu kwamba ni watu wachache peke yake ndio walifurahia hii maneno. Vijana wengi wa Kenya ambao walikuwa wameona hope katika kubadilisha katiba saa hii wamehusunika. Vijana ambao wangepata pesa kupitia youth commission sasa wamehusunika wamama ambao wangechukuliwa na hii katiba wamehusunika watu ambao walikuwa na penda mambo ya devolution strengthening of devolution wote wamehusunika wote ambao walikuwa wanapigania reforms katika jamhuri ya Kenya ili kuongeza jinsi tunavyokaa wote wamehusunika ni wachache tu ndio wamefurahi wale hawapendi reforms lakini sasa iko namna hii. Hiyo idea haijaisha. Hiyo idea ya kubadilisha katiba haijaisha. Tutafanya ile utaweza katika bunge. Tutarudi kule bungeni tujaribu ile utaweza katika bunge. Lakini nawahakikishia wa, watu wangu Jamhuri ya Kenya wote ambao wako pro reform kwamba tukielekea mbele hiyo ideas ambayo tuko nazo ya kureform katiba ya Kenya ili kuimprove maisha ya wakenya hiyo ideas hatujaziacha hatutaziacha tutaendelea kwa njia yoyote ile niko na imani kwamba ile mrengo yangu tutaform serikali ijayo so kwa sasa tutapigania haya maneno katika bunge lakini tukiform the next government ambao niko na imani tutaform hiyo serikali sababu sisi ndio wengi hayo those ideas shall come back so i'm going to i'm now asking watu wote wa, wa jamhuri ya Kenya wasikufe moyo wajue kwamba ni, ni vizuri tufuate sheria kama kwetu ni mesaba hivyo ni sawa tumekubaliana ni sawa lakini idea the ideas remain with us as as the proponents of reform we shall forever cherish and push those ideas until those ideas are achieved that is our objective as the reform group jambo la pili ningependa kuambia rais kenyata aangalie cabinet yake vizuri sababu ya serikali yake imejaa molds tukielekea uchaguzi ambao inakuja aangalie cabinet yake vizuri hii ni wakati wa kubadilisha cabinet. Hii ni wakati wa kubadilisha even principal secretaries. Advisors wote wa president. Hata wale wako katika ofisi ya attorney general. Hii ni wakati wa kufagia. Na nikapenda kuambia rais leo na nisikie. Kwamba hao wote the malls, all the malls in government must be swept aside and it must be done immediately. We cannot afford to go to war with people shooting us from the back we cannot afford that na vijana wako wengi hata hapa tiati tuko na vijana ambao wanazotosha kuwa mawaziri ama principal secretaries hao wasomi hao wamejaa hapa we have enough food soldiers that are loyal to the president we cannot have two governments in one it is unacceptable it is unacceptable So I'm asking the president to crack the whip and do it immediately. Hiyo serikali imejaa sabotuas. Imejaa watu ambao hawamtakii rais mema. We cannot have two governments in one. Santeni sana. Elam